Welcome to a code report algorithm video. In this video, we're going to be going over four algorithms from the STL algorithm library, std reverse, std reverse copy, std rotate, and std rotate copy. Stood reverse. This is an algorithm with linear time complexity, big O of n, that will reverse the elements between the first and last iterators. Not surprising and a very simple algorithm. So here we have the declaration of the function or the algorithm. Uh, note that bidit is short for bidirectional iterators. Uh, I'm using the Microsoft convention, uh, which is out it, in it, fw it, uh, bide it, and ran it for the uh, five different iterators. There's a link in the description down below if you'd like to read more about this. And if you're not familiar with iterators in C++, uh, click the link here to watch a video explaining the differences. For std reverse copy, uh, this is a very similar uh, algorithm uh, with linear time complexity that will copy the reversed elements between first and last to the result iterator. So it basically does the same thing, but it adds a copy and it will copy it to this uh, output iterator result. So there's an extra parameter. So let's take a look at uh, an example using these two algorithms. So at the top here, we are declaring a vector of integers using an initializer list. And we have a print function, uh, which I've shown before in previous videos. It just looks like this. So it'll take a data structure and print the elements out with spaces in between. And uh, so we print this out. It obviously is just going to print out one, two, three. And then if we reverse uh, passing the uh, begin and pass the end iterators uh, and then print it, it'll print it in uh, a reversed order from what it initially was. So pretty straightforward. And for reverse copy, it does the same thing. Uh, but here we are just declaring a, and a vector of integers with the default value uh, and allocating three uh, spots for three elements. And this will output initially zero uh, because it's the default for an integer is zero. And then we call reverse copy and we pass in a third parameter, which is the uh, iterator pointing to the beginning of this uh, vector of integers. And then uh, we are reversing what is currently already been reversed, so we're bringing it back to its original order. So it will output one, two, three on the final line. For std rotate, this is an algorithm with linear time complexity that shifts the elements between first and last such that the middle element is now first. So this function takes three parameters, first, last, and then also middle. And what it's going to do is it's going to rotate these elements such that uh, middle is now the first element. And uh, similar to reverse copy, rotate copy is an algorithm with linear time complexity that will copy the rotated elements between first and last to the result iterator. So let's take a look at a code example. So once again, we're declaring a vector of integers with an initializer list. Uh, we output uh, what the initial state is, one, two, three, four, five, and then we rotate it and we're rotating it uh, around the third element. So begin points to the first, we do a plus two, and this will uh, give us the third element here. And so what this ends up doing is shifting uh, three, four, and five to the beginning and putting one and two at the end. So the next line here will output three, four, uh, five, one, two. And in the bottom here, similar to our last example, we're once again declaring a vector of integers uh, setting uh, the integers to their default value of zero. So when we print out u at this point, it will just be five zeros. And now we're doing a rotate copy again, uh, pointing to the third element, which at this point will be the five. And uh, we're gonna output it to the beginning of our vector u. And so at this point, it's gonna shift the five, the one and the two to the front and put the three and four at the back. So it'll output five, one, two, three, four. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start. You can find all of the code that I use in my videos on my GitHub page. All of the links are in the description down below. And finally, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.